Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's fault. I know a few people, though. Who do you need to get in touch with? The Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in the Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a master there, I think I know who it is. I'm not certain, otherwise I tell you. But the man I'm thinking about is smart, likes to stay in the shadows, and is cryptic as hell. If he isn't a Jedi Master, he should become one. There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those disks because they have some contact information on them. People I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure. And that holodisk has the procedure. But Kel's gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one that cleaned me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. If you take Mandalore with you, though, you should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted holodisk. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. Those words will be your last. encrypted holodisks yet. Great go in there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in Isis anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Backlow is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. I have my ways as well. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore. Even an old friend. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with her was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain. 
only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men, and watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I'm the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of her! I won't let Kavar escape! It's gonna be tough to avoid hitting innocents in this crowded cantina. You know what to do. Doctor, until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I dreamt of Malachor. I remember the ships, the last stand of the Republic, the tattered remnants of our fleet, the largest we could gather. But it was damaged, weakened, and vulnerable. The Mandalorians couldn't resist, they tore into us like beasts, shredding our ships to scrap as we fought back. Yet this time, there were no reinforcements for either side. Revan had been delayed out system by Mandalorian scout ships. By the time she arrived, it was too late. And beyond Malachor, there were no more Mandalorians left to die. I remember standing on the bridge with you and watching the destruction of the Republic, watching ships full of soldiers and Jedi burn and die. I remember the look you had when you turned to me. It was the longest you'd ever looked at me. You didn't say anything. Just a nod. Events moved quickly then, even in my dreams. Flashes, explosions, you falling. I could feel the pain around me. And then the memory. The drifting hulks of the Mandalorian ships. The dead, allies, friends, strangers. And then the echo. Lingering. The sound I awakened to in my nightmares. Blame lies with me for creating it. The situation forced your hand. Anger forced mine. You realize that unless action was taken, the fleet would be destroyed and the Republic would fall. None of us realize the magnitude of what we unleashed. Having you here has an effect on me, General. I never noticed it years ago. I think my mind was too occupied then. I feel calm, more in control. The anger is still there, but I can feel it drifting away. The last years of my life have been defined by it. The Mandalorians, Zerka, and Revan. And above all else, myself, for Malachor. Never, General. It had to be done. My hands destroyed the Mandalorians. I cannot be forgiven for that. 
Even if I did it out of hatred of the Mandalorians? That might be the truth, but I don't want to see it that way. I can't just ignore the blood on my hands. Even if there isn't, I still feel like I need to do something to make up for it. Under your guidance, I feel like I could overcome my anger.